one, Tottenham two, and we've come, come from behind <laughs> once yes. again to win a match oh, and Tottenham again. qualify for the next round of the Champions League as group winners. So we will be playing a team that finished second in their group. So that is a, a massive, massive positive for us. But um, look, after a very shaky first half, I thought we deserved the win today. I really did. Of course but did it. Start with you. Know, <laughs> start with you, James. I can't what's stop what's smiling. What's your thinking of the game today? Did I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to you. I think Spears probably tell <laughs> you. <laughs> I think it is, like, genuinely, uh, Hoiberg, my captain, I love that man to death. Like, he was, like, struggling near the end. He, like, his, like, legs were going. And he comes up and just, like, finishes that ball. You threw on goal. Anyone who's played football for years, like, that is still yeah. fucking tough. That's still tough. And he had a tough defender tough on him as well. Yeah, and he had a Pressing. defender on him. And the thing is, he hits the top corner off the post. And he hit it from the edge of the box as well. Yeah. Yeah. Hits it from the edge of the box. Amazing. Brilliant. Amazing. You know what? That right Positive. there, that, like anyone who was in, you grew up, we were all in the sporting game, right? Anyone who was in the stands, the pain of that like VAR, like that right there was for that for us. Like that was such a good feeling. It was. Like, all, all, like everything comes back around, but all I'm saying is, Spurs this season, what? What? What is going on? <laughs> what is going on with these what? late, late, late winners? Another like, late winner. That's, wow. that's five since Conte has um, come to the club. Well, I tell you what, Eight goal winners. contributions for Hoybier now yeah, this season as well. Another goal contribution for Hoybier. But look, the first half was really poor, wasn't it? Was like, it was really disappointing yeah. to how... It wasn't necessarily like how defensive we were, it's just how we weren't getting close to the opposition. We were very standoffish. It was very typical Tottenham of the first half. Um, and many for many first games. First half this Tottenham, season. mate. First yeah. half Tottenham. And Harry Kane said before the game uh, that Spurs seem to struggle when they're not when <laughs> when we when the game's level, and we seem to do better when we're losing. And it was case in point again. We literally oh, conceded right on the edge of half time, yeah. and we came flying out the blocks in the second half. We were, yeah. we were a completely different team. Yeah. And again, it was pretty much like the shackles were off. Yeah. We were able to press. We were yeah. able to get close to opposition. Yeah. I think what the difference was is difference in the first half and the second half was our pressing game. We were so much closer to Marseille man to man. We were nicking the ball in dangerous areas and we were able to get further up the pitch whereas the first half yeah. we were penned in and we weren't able to get out whatsoever and it was a big difference but um, Ashmatic what was your feelings on the game? Yeah. Ashmatic is literally going fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like oh, that's what we all were doing. <laughs> on my phone like just responding I'm like yeah this is crazy. Literally a game with two halves lads. Literally a complete turnaround in the second half, and it's like we said before, we need like a goal to go against us, as Kane said, before we start to turn up to games. It's crazy. We don't we play in halves, not even halves in periods. It's yeah. not even um, halves anymore. Dude, but I mean, Colin Firth, we're like we love a period drama. <laughs> did we? Did, did we? But did we deserve that win today, Ashmati? I know, 100%. We had the bigger chances. We created the better chances, I felt, in the second half, especially. Definitely. They had show character. Yeah, we did. I think the first half, they had we limited them to chances that they actually had. Really, there was like one big save that Lloris made, if I'm being honest. They had a lot of the ball, but they didn't create raw openings. Second half, they were a bit more of a threat because we pushed more forward. But ultimately, I think we had the bigger and better chances. And I think that was down to us taking more risks, pressing forward, and just passing the ball as a collective. Everyone getting a touch, getting the ball a bit forward, moving it a bit quicker, being a more assertive, being a bit more dominant, taking more risks, and it paid off ultimately. And you don't think uh, we deserve credit for the fact that we're 1-0 down, Son's gone off early with an injury, we've gone yeah. to a 3-5-2, yes. we, 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 have, we, we have no... we deserve credit. We have no Kulisevsky, <laughs> we have no Richarlison, yes. we're backs against the wall. Yes. We've drunk we came Zimmer, so we don't have a change of... And yeah. we, come out, we come out fighting, we come out swinging, yeah. and we yeah. ended up with the result, uh, and, wait, and we end up with the win wait, as well. I have to give a mention to Emerson, I'm not going to lie. Emerson was brilliant when he came He was brilliant when he came Listen, listen. Credit where credit but the biggest shout out of the day has to go to Rodrigo Bentancor yes. once again. Once again, Second an absolutely sensational display. Pressing from the front, combative in the middle, driving us forward. The way he just niggles past players as well. I mean, the yeah. guy is such a sexy footballer, man. He really <laughs> is. He really is. I mean, I can't get away. The guy is getting better and better every yeah, game. And, you know, we've won another game coming from behind and Kane and Son haven't scored. Once again, again. Mm, two yeah. games in a row now. Yeah. And again, set pieces. Saying, thank God for that pussy. <laughs> Puss.
Kalasinac. Missing from four yards to the back. It's absolutely right, because that was that chance right at the end there could have easily come out. You're thinking like, this this asshole's going to come up and score. You know what I mean? And then he gets the opportunity and he misses. It's like, oh my God. What an opportunity it was. Unbelievable. That really was an absolute sitter. And we went on to score the winner a few minutes later. But I really felt like that second half... It wouldn't look the, the the headlines were written for us going out with, with with no attacking players to come back in that second half. And I think we showed real character, we showed real fight to get back in the game. Can't rate set, Spurs this season. Yeah, set pieces Can't. have always been the strength of us. Even when we're not playing well, you can always rely on set pieces to be a source of um uh, of of a, of where we can get joy from. Yeah. And then obviously we, we dug deep after the set piece to uh um, make sure we weren't giving Marseille too many good chances apart from that Kalasnach chance. And then we needed a goal to to, to top the group as well. And we get it right at the end with a brilliant Hoybier finish. Last kick what, of what the game. What finish. a finish as well, inside of the post. And a few oh, moments before King, that, yeah. five, ten minutes before that, he hits the crossbar and we're just like, are we yeah. going to rue that yeah. chance? Yeah. But no, he I makes did. sure that we he don't. Well. He makes box well. sure that we and don't. And you know what's good about that finish. is like in the past and when we've seen Spurs teams over the years, like when someone has a big moment like mm. and, it, and it goes bad, <clears throat> like mentally they, they fall apart. And then that ends up being the thing. We all look back and go like, oh, we just did this. Yeah. And I wanna, With Pierre, I wanna, it's not that way. Like he he ends up scoring that goal. It's like what, what an absolute legend. I want to read you a list of teams that we could face in the next round because obviously we finished top now, so we have to play a team that finished second. So. In Group B, Club Bruges have finished second, so they're a team that we can face. Inter Milan have finished second. Um, and then tomorrow night, AC Milan are currently in second, so it could be them. Leipzig are currently in second. Dortmund mm. are currently in second. And Benfica <laughs> are currently in second. All so teams. Surely you fancy us against any of those. Mm. I mean, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Is that what you were thinking? Yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> no, I mean, no, I fancy against any of them. On one side, them. you could be, we could be facing a lot of tough opposition, but on the, up, on, 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 the, on the opposite, on the other side, like, they're all tough teams. There's not one easy team. Nah, no, but no, there's no, not no, also easy. one team where you're like, we have no chance against them. No, you don't no, look you at that list and be second, like, oh, we can't win here. That's what I'm saying. performance, yeah, we can take anyone. For second performance, we could be, we could be like 2-0, 3-0 down. That's what I'm saying. That's that's the how the, the the worrying thing for me is that and, and they've all said it like a few times like even like in player player like um, Spurs on like player interviews they've said that we can't play ninety minutes full pace. What's going on with that? Like, but but they, but, but then they again, all, we get stronger as the game where but it goes they all on. Know, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's a weird one, though, isn't it? It's weird. Hulk, Hulk. But do you think it is like a team strategy of going, look, we've got so many games, we don't have the big squad, we're gonna have to start. Do you think today, like, they've got an attacking team lineup, but we're <clears> gonna have to start deep, soak up pressure. Let them burn the legs out, and in second half we're gonna have yeah. to. Like, just maybe that's what it is. Mm. And also, maybe that's Kemmer, the strategy. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I know you have to say, the, say the, the midfield. You have to say in that second half really overran the um, the the Marseille midfield, and yeah, we were yeah. getting close to them. We were nicking the balls in yeah, dangerous position, <clears throat> and that midfield, which was maybe a um, a con in that first half, was definitely a pro in the second half. Yeah, I just think Spurs' mentality over the last three games now has shown a different type of steel, a different type of character. There's not many teams that can go one 0 behind and turn it around like we have. So, so think, often as well. So yeah. often. And I think it's a testament to the players' mentality now. So a lot of the teams were saying, you know, pundits included and opposition fans saying, Spurs, Spursy, look at them, bottle jobs. Yeah, where are you now? They can't say that anymore. And I think the players are starting to believe that. They know that when it comes down to the last minute. You know, like the uh, Manchester United Fergie, t Fergie time, we're having that similar type of approach to games. Like, we never say die. We never lay yeah, down. I'll tell you, if we have and a quarter of the trophies that Fergie had at Man United, <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, <laughs> wait, you know. Play alone <laughs> just one. <laughs> just one of the trophies. But I, I'm being serious. I just feel like that game there was monumental because it was the biggest game of our season and the boys showed up. I know yeah, and our backs it. were against the ball. We were 1-0 down. It all was, it was. going against it was. us. It was. Dude, I know he's getting interviewed right now, like, long late, but, like, can we just mention, like, one, he had a pretty solid game the yeah. whole, whole game. Yeah, he did. But that goal. 
like that back to in power it. ahead and just get us at, when we needed it in that moment. Mm -hmm. Like we needed someone to step up and just like take this game. That gave us the entire the ascendancy. Like that made us like set strong. We we were all right to let them come on us and then just hit. Because mm -hmm. at that point they have to chase the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. So and that's that what was huge. For the I thought I thought Longley was incredible today. I thought. And that's two games really in a row where he's played in the middle of the back three, and I think he's looked really comfortable yeah. there. Mm -hmm. So I think that's something that we should. Be our only problem. Our only problem. problem is is this. Yeah, I agree. You probably want Romero to come in fully fit and play there on the right. I, right now, how Longley's playing, I don't <laughs> think you just bring Dyer back in and play him there. I think mm. Longley stays until he starts looking shaky. But for me, like I've seen Longley make one clear mistake, and it's like mm. it's not really a clear mistake. Newcastle, Almiron. I think fly, at times he needs Almiron to be stronger flies though. Past Longley. Him, but Almiron is on because there are a few. He did get breezed right? past yeah. a couple of times today, Longley. I don't know. Like I maybe I, I maybe so. I didn't really actually see it, but like. He made a lot of good, like, good positional stuff. Like, he was, like, back when he had to be back. He, at times, he was progressing the play. He was, like, mm. at one point, he was, like, pressing a ball down in the corner. Mm. <laughs> it was, like... Yeah. No, he had a great yeah, game. Yeah, he had a great point, game. Yeah. And, a, and, a and a seventh mm. assist of the season for Perisic. I was yeah. just about to talk about Perisic. Look, Perisic was, was incredible today. I thought yeah. he had a really good game. Yeah. Really good game. I haven't yeah. seen him. I, I, I'm just one of these players, like... I, and I, I watch him a lot because I, like, I want him to do well. But I haven't seen him play bad yet. Like I'm, I've seen him play bad. Have you seen him play I bad? I've seen him play bad. Yeah, I've, I've seen, seen him play bad missing. quite a few games this I've, season. I've, I've seen him play not as good as he should be playing or he can play. But I haven't seen him be like a player on the field is like, oh, Perisic is the reason we're losing these games. Or, you know what I mean? Like I haven't seen him be like the fall guy. You to know? be fair, yeah. I have seen him get done on the wing. I have. I Defensively, can't lie. Defensively, he's not the greatest. Yeah. I, I, I can't. But today I can't. that wasn't the case. No, look, today was very strong. What a brilliant result, brilliant performance in the second half, and um, I think we needed that because if we were to go out, we would really put a dampener on 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 the face of it. What fair, decent progress we've made this season, you know, being third in the league, and then obviously we've now gone through in the Champions League. So overall, the big picture is looking good. If we were to go out today, the questions have, would have to be asked. You know, Conte's record in Champions League, um, is this team good enough? All these kind of things. But now you can put that Champions League knockout phase in the back pocket to after the World Cup. We're there. No one can take that away from us. Yeah. And it was so important we got through that for for the project and for the yeah. belief in how we're, how we're doing things. And without Conte there as well. Uh, on the sidelines to get to, to you know being one nil down without him there still getting through and still having the character to get it through off our own backs i think you've got to be impressed and you've got we have to have we've got to be praised for how we got through that game absolutely yeah, and i think uh fruit in the next round as group winners um you know we we enjoyed watching our team tonight on a tuesday night while you play on thursday because you're fucking shy <laughs> thank you everyone for joining us today big up to brains big up to ashmatic our guests on, in the studio today yes. Yes. and we'll see you all in the next round and most importantly we'll see you very soon on the post-match fan show looking forward to having you guys on and hearing your opinions like subscribe and comment and as always oh, come on you spurs, spurs.